Welcome to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster with John Kramer. In your diary uh, from that day, you said that what gives an experience the illusion of permanence is when it's associated with a self that is itself perceived as uh, permanent. But that self associated with experience is truly not permanent because it's not you. It's not the true self. Therefore, it can't be permanent. Yeah. No. So I have given actually after I wrote that, I've given that a lot of thought. And that is in, in my January diaries that you are, you are about to receive. But um, so the real question is, what gives the illusion of permanence of an experience? Because an experience is not permanent, but in a moment of its, its occurring, there is a sense of permanence. Like when someone tells you a story, it's like you are drawn into the story, but at the same time, you know, it, it's over. It's not, it's not happening right now. And what I realize is, is that what gives a sense of permanence to an experience is that somehow you identify yourself with that experience. And, and that is what gives that sense of permanence. Now, identifying with an experience is due to the fact that the thinking creates a simulation of being like whatever the thinking throws out of your consciousness simulates as if that is being, as if that is you being in the world, having an experience. That is the illusion of the mind. It mimics or, or simulates being. Language has got no being, although it gives you the experience of it. And that is not, so that is, that is a whole experience of the perceived and the perceiver. And that is the duality of the thinking that it gives you that experience of being that is not your true being. It's not like having a walk or, or, or like doing something, but the thinking gives you that experience as if it is a real experience of being. So, and what it is, is it's powerful to realize that because when the thinking throws out a thought and the thought creates an experience, it's already done. It's over. It's too late. You can't interfere with it. You can't change it. It already has happened. So it, so the thinking shapes the experience of life, of your life. And there's nothing that you can do about it. It's already there. So how to come to a place of knowing what is true is by allowing for the totality of that experience, even if it is uncomfortable or whatever the thinking is telling you that creates an experience that might be uncomfortable. What then happens is that you become aware of being conscious. In that moment, there is a sense of what is true and real. You see that that is not a true experience of being. It's just a thought. So it is the awareness of being conscious that dispels the illusion that you are that experience because you are not. It's just a thought. So the awareness of being conscious, so to speak, brings you back to your senses. It brings you back in the place of being. It breaks a spell of permanency. Of an experience. Thank you for listening to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster. For more information, check out louiscoster.com forward slash Talking Diaries and subscribe to the Talking Diaries YouTube channel. Also, check out louiscoster.com forward slash quiz and take the free quiz to discover more about yourself.